Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Grimbomb. This is Ushma again and today we are going to finish up what we were doing last time. Last time we got our sword, our shield, got some Deku sticks and some of those Deku nuts and now we're actually going to, going to venture inside and see what we can accomplish. So, I was thinking over, since it's the last video, and I think it'll be easier to try to do maybe a dungeon per video, and when I'm in the dungeon, I'm just going to do the dungeon, I don't care how long it takes, and if I have extra time afterwards, then we'll see what we can get done after that. So if I have a long dungeon, I guess we're just going to have a long video. So we got our map here, and we can't climb up that, so we go through here. See this is one of those times where Navi decides, hey, you're going to have to listen to me, I don't care what you say, even though all she's telling me what to do is how to open a darn door. Easy fight. If I can actually catch him. <laughs> oh boy. We got a lot of work to do here, don't we? That's a pretty useful tick tip. You roll and you don't take any damage. We got a heart for that. The reason why I jumped there is to make it easier for me in the future. I could be wrong and it just won't help me at all, but I'm pretty sure I can just ignore the ladder then. And we got ourselves a slingshot. And with this, we now have three items. Yep, it's still there. Okay. So let's equip. down. See, that's why I left it there. Makes traveling a little bit faster. And for some reason, I can't open a darn door. Okay, so... I definitely need to switch the C stick on this controller. It'll make things a little bit easier. Got myself some of them Deku seeds. Okay, let's go up here. And target him and there we go. We climbing up the vines and see what we're gonna get up here. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm bothering about you. I still gotta go through this door. Hey. And... 
Here we go. I don't think I know how to work a controller anymore. ourselves a compass. Now that we got everything important in this place, let's just get that stick and there's a scotula back here. We're gonna see how many scotulas we can collect along the way. And hopefully it doesn't take too much time. So that's a social life. And we got a token. Oh, yay, a heart. Because I've just taken so much damage this whole dungeon. We're gonna go use this one. And... There you go. And there we go. Kill this one. Gotta get ourselves some all them sculptulas. Actually, getting them all is very useful. Well, not every single one of them, but enough to upgrade your. Actually, I'm not gonna say. Like I said, I'm not gonna spoil things for people that don't know. I am doing this dungeon pretty fast compared to normal, so I apologize. A little secret, though, it is with these monsters. You hit them with a Deku Seed. You can get a stick from them. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I can never catch these guys. <laughs> That guy would have been killed if if it was possible. See, two, three, one is definitely an important note to remember. Because if you do this whole dungeon and you don't remember that pattern, they're gonna have a lot of guessing to do. You gotta dive, swim. Oh boy. 
the Master Quest version, they make this a pain in the butt to do. You know, honestly, if you want me to do the Master Quest version, I can do the Master Quest version. Just leave it in the comment section below. If I get enough votes for it, I'll do the comments. I'll do the Master Quest after I do this version. There you'll see a lot of rage. Not because it's hard, but it's just a pain in the butt to do. Now he's good. Now Navi's gonna tell me how to push and pull a block. And how to climb on top of one. All you do is push this block to the other end and ding. You can just climb up it and there you go. I don't know what the heck I'm doing wrong. I, I'm just not playing like it's my A game anymore. Okay, let's do this. I don't know if I brought this up in the last video, I don't remember, but if you have a stick out and it's on fire, if you use your sword immediately, you get to save your stick. And I find that a pretty useful thing. You don't have to worry about farming sticks later in the game. Okay. Don't know what those were, but we killed them. You hear that sound? That means that this bomb, this wall is bombed. And after we get bombs, if I don't come back here, or if I don't remember to come back here, um, just remind me, and I'll make sure I come back here and get the bomb, or use the bombs to get whatever it is back there. Hopefully, well, actually, I'm planning on coming back here after I become, after I do all the dungeons. I'll try to come back here. So, we're almost done with this dungeon. And... The timer is looking pretty decent for us. Push this, and there we go. That's another way to do that. Um, get him to act like that. <laughs> so that you can get a stick. And there we go. As you see the skull right there, that means we're, we're right at the boss. Kill the boss. So this is the secret. Two, three, one. Now, all 
we do is catch this one. I was tired of running around. All you gotta do, honestly, is just stand on their pod and they'll come to you eventually. Since they gotta go back. And here we go. We're right here at the boss. is the popular and changing in some way the Gomas. I failed that completely. There we go. All you do is hit his eye with a slingshot and wail away. The easiest way to do this as fast as possible is hold the slingshot ready, follow him, and well, as soon as his eye turns red, shoot it. And go crazy again. And you should be done. This boss fight should be that fast. You shouldn't even take a hit. the heart container and there we go well well we're going to do this right after this there's another cutscene that we have to deal with we'll deal with this cutscene and check the timer I am planning for this episode to last maybe 20 minutes, maybe a little past 20 minutes, but hopefully it doesn't go much further than that. <laughs> I try to say no, but he still says it anyways. I guess I can just stay quiet and let you watch this cutscene of the Triforce. Actually, I don't really want to stay quiet. <laughs> Pretty useful information for the story, but I'm assuming most of you guys have already played this game and know the story already, so. No one on the last video said skip cutscenes and anything else, so here's another cutscene to watch. Then made the earth. Nar Nehru, Naru? No, it's Nehru. And she made the sky. And Faror, 
I can never say these names. <laughs> and they make life. And all together, they combined to make the Triforce. It's a pretty good story for how the whole Zelda series comes to be. Okay, so... We are, for me anyways, it says we're almost at 21 minutes, so let's go do one little side quest and head to, and leave the forest, and we'll call that the video. Unfortunately, doing that will make this about about 25 minutes, but that that in return will make the next video shorter. And now we get Navi the Fairy permanently. And there is the death of the Great Deku Tree. Ready to go. I'm glad it's my fault that I that he died. Gotta get those five rupees again. Let's go accomplish that one side quest that I brought up, which will give us a bigger pouch of Deku Seeds. That's a pretty easy one to pull off. Just hit the metal three times in a row, he comes out, and then he spits out some a bigger pouch. Easy to do, right, as soon as you're done with the first dungeon. to leave the forest and hopefully no one stops us again it's pretty interesting how she just appeared and Link never noticed Ocarina. 
Lord, now we finally have the part of the name of the game, Ocarina. And whenever this is done telling me how to play, we'll have a very heartfelt moment between Link and Saria. Just quiet. And then he runs off and leaves. Their final goodbye. And welcome to Hyrule Field. Well, let's equip the Ocarina and save the game. Well, that is definitely a video. This is a longer video, and I do not want it to usually take this long, but I wanted to make sure we got, you know, that cutscene out of the way, and don't have to deal with a little stoppage here or there, so we can just get on and go to the Hyrule Castle. So, as always, have a great day, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. I'm not telling you to do it, but hey, a like is always nice at least. And yeah, like I already said, thank you for watching.